New tonight, before we host all three 24th Congressional District candidates for a debate this Sunday, we're profiling each of them. Tonight, incumbent Democratic Congressman Salud Carbajal discusses challenges the district faces, decisions he's made in D.C., and accusations by one of his challengers. The closure of Diablo Canyon Power Plant by 2025 will have a billion dollar a year impact on our economy. Congressman Salud Carbajal says the key challenge for the 24th district right now is offsetting jobs lost by the closure, which is why he introduced the Energy Opportunity Zone Act. Which provides uh, tax incentives to the renewable energy industry to invest in the area to develop wind, solar, wave energy. While also introducing legislation to ban offshore oil drilling expansion off the central coast, a proposal by President Trump that Carbohol says may still happen. Offshore oil development could occur if it's done in traditional platforms. Carbohol also voted against President Trump's budget and tax reform that raised the national debt to $20 trillion. This is reckless, irresponsible spending. It's going to really strap future generations. But did say he would get behind the president's compromise to grant citizenship to some one and a half million dreamers, those brought here illegally as children. I am more than willing to find common ground and to support such a measure. While he touts his bipartisan approach, he's accused by challenger Justin Fareed of playing politics with disaster relief funding. When asked why Carbajal voted against December's budget that included Thomas Fire funding, he repeatedly said, I have voted for all disaster bills that have come before me that effectively address the challenges and the needs of residents on the Central Coast. Carbajal also voted against two fire prevention bills in favor, he says, of a bill allocating two and a half billion dollars to the U.S. Forest Service. And you can visit KSPY.com to watch our interview with Republican challenger Justin Fareed that aired yesterday. Tomorrow, we'll talk with the other Republican in the race, Morro Bay's Michael Aaron Woody.